Hi. Let's learn about asset management. Asset management is the practice of increasing total wealth over time by acquiring, maintaining, and trading investments that have the potential to grow in value. Asset management professionals, also known as portfolio managers or financial advisors, perform this service. Their role is to determine the best investments to make or avoid, and to realize the client's financial goals within their risk tolerance. The goal of asset management is to increase value while mitigating risk. Asset managers determine a client's risk tolerance and make investment decisions based on that. They conduct rigorous research using statistical analysis, reviews of corporate documents, and market trend analysis. There are several different types of asset managers, including registered investment advisors, investment brokers, financial advisors, and robo-advisors. Each type has a different level of responsibility to the client. It is important to understand a manager's obligations before deciding to invest. Asset managers have various fee structures. The most common model charges a percentage of the assets under management, while others may charge a fee for each trade executed or receive a commission. It is important to know if your management firm has a fiduciary duty to serve your interests. Asset management companies compete to serve the investment needs of high net worth individuals and institutions. These companies offer services such as check writing privileges, credit cards, debit cards, margin loans, and brokerage services. Accounts held by financial institutions include FDIC backed funds and non FDIC funds, and have been possible since the passage of the Graham Leach Bliley Act in 1999. Merrill Lynch offers a cash management account that gives investors access to a personal financial advisor, initial public offerings, foreign currency transactions, and SIPC protected securities. The account also offers check writing services, worldwide ATM access, bill payment services, fund transfers, and wire transfers. Accounts with more than $250,000 in eligible assets sidestep annual fees. An asset manager meets with a client to determine their long-term financial objectives and risk tolerance. They are responsible for making investment decisions on behalf of their clients. The five largest asset management institutions based on global assets under management are BlackRock, Vanguard Group, Fidelity Investments, The Capital Group, and Amundi. Digital asset management is a process of storing media assets in a central repository where they can be accessed as necessary by all members of an organization. This is typically used for large audio or video files that need to be worked on by many teams of employees at once. Asset management firms provide the service of buying and selling assets on behalf of their clients. There are many types of asset managers, with some working for family offices, wealthy individuals, and others working on behalf of major banks and institutional investors. Here are three key takeaways. 1. The goal of asset management is to maximize the value of an investment portfolio over time while maintaining an acceptable level of risk. 2. Asset management as a service is offered by financial institutions catering to high net worth individuals, government entities, corporations, and institutional investors like colleges and pension funds. 3. Asset managers have fiduciary responsibilities. They make decisions on behalf of their clients and are required to do so in good faith. Hope this would help. Thanks for watching.